hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching for today so one day before we released the flashing or switching to 12 video for any android 14 custom rom for oneplus not 2 hope you watched that now if you are using any android 14 custom rom whether it's 2x2 or lineage os 21 and you want to flash the new evolution x over these roms you can follow that video we will let us switch our oneplus not 2 to the evolution x 9.0 xyz test build as I already told in the old video, I failed, though it's a test build, but it's worth to use as a data driver. Why I'm telling this? Because in this video, I am going to thoroughly test everything for this build from its source base, what's working, performance testing, CP thermal performance and the BGMI with the Xtreme Plus FPS. With the thermal effect, finally, we see the bugs and the missing features of this build. So before flashing this build, you must need to check this video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. On the new Our device booted and ready for testing. First we will check out all the recent source base this ROM is using. This is same Android 14 custom ROM Evolution X. Its version is 9.0, named as XYZ. Previous version we reviewed was the Evolution X 8.3 Balut. Current build has the security patch of May 2024. The last build was on the February security patches. Kernel version of this build is Origin 4.19.198. Old build has the old kernel version as 4.19.194. Build maintainer is Lania. Build date of the ROM is 31st May 2024 and its release on the 1st June 2024. But the last build was released on the 20th March 2024. If you ask me what's working, so I already reviewed this part in details for the old build. Its video link is given under the video description. This ROM is also fully functional, especially auto brightness and OnePlus LR sliders are working. SafetyNet is successfully passed here so we can run all the banking and payment applications. Google Play Protect is also certified, surprisingly wideband security is of L1 so we can stream Netflix and the Amazon Prime at the full HD resolution in this ROM. All the sensors and essential features like fingerprint, mic, ear proximity, display, accelerometer, compass, magnetometer, gyroscope, proximity sensor, everything is working. So in one word this is a fully working build but with some flaws that we will check in the bug section of this video. Next, we will check out the performance of this ROM along with the, its thermal throttling. ROM is super smooth, will not face any slowdown for any activities anywhere in the ROM like scrolling, swiping, switching between applications, all are absolutely battery smooth. So I decided to first check out the screen test sampling rate of this build and it was ranging between 87 to 119 all the time for every single touch. If we test the performance using the Geekbench, we got the results of double one double one and three two six eight for the single and multi core respectively for old build these scores are very low as compared to this build they are one zero four eight and two five seven eight respectively for the gpu graphics performance on the open gel drivers we got the score of four seven four zero and four nine one zero for Hulkan graphics while old build has the score of four eight two four and four eight double two for open gel and Hulkan graphics respectively if you check my old video there in performance testing section, I told while testing the Geekbench, old build has issue of heating and thermal throttling, which was not happened here anymore. When I seen the CPU temperature in the device info app, it's just risen from the 42 to 50 degrees Celsius maximum for the all the cores, which is normal temperature, so it seems that thermal issues are fixed in this build. That's why we got the better results for the Geekbench as compared to the old build. To confirm this, I did the CPU throttling test on the 23rd for the 5 minutes. Before in this test, CPU temperature was ranging normal between 37 to 40 degrees Celsius. As I predicted, we got very good score of 94%. After checking the CPU temperature, it's normally risen to the 42 to 55 degrees Celsius, which is normal. So CPU throttling has been improved for this build and you will not face any device heating issue. I will again test and confirm this while playing the BGMI. Now let's check out the gaming performance of this build. First we will enable the higher FPS toggle available in the miscellaneous setting and the component spoofing option of the Evolver customization tab. We will check if this setting really activates the higher FPS for the BGMI or PUBG or not. 
As this ROM didn't come with the gaming mode, so I installed the FPS application and enabled this notification to keep watch on the real-time FPS while playing the BGMI. I also enabled the smooth display setting available under the OnePlus setting of the device to enable the constant 90 screen FPS. Before playing the game, I checked the device CPU temperature. They were ranging normal between 35 to 40 degrees Celsius. Now let's start the BGMI and surprisingly unlock higher FPS for supported game setting of this ROM actually working, we got the Extreme Plus FPS option under the graphics setting. I set the gameplay graphics to the smooth and Extreme Plus FPS. Now let's start the gameplay. Please note that I played these 30 plus minutes of the gameplay. Finally, after killing all bots, I got winner winner chicken dinner and I am the MVP of the gameplay. Game ran very smoothly, graphics quality was also very good. After finally finishing the gameplay, when I checked the CPU temperature, they were risen to 44 to 50 degrees Celsius only, which is normal for the CPU without throttling the CPU performance. Even though we played the game on the Extreme Plus FPS, so definitely this ROM has very good performance without any heating issue. Now let's discuss some most important part of this video that is the bugs and the missing features. The most important feature that old build was offering is the Oxenos camera. Some users really like the custom ROM with the stock camera but this time developer removed this because it's not fully functional. They added this simple lineage use Apache camera application in the ROM. Next bug is for the Google voice activation. Hey Google, voice activation is not working for off screen and on screen mode. But you can access the Google Assistant by swiping on the bottom corners of the device. Except this as per developers, some media hardware codecs are not working in this ROM which are essential for playing of some media. But for me, all the media on the YouTube videos and songs are working. So I think it's not a deal breaking issue. For camera, you can use the Google Gcam MGC build which is fully functional on this ROM. Its link is available under video description. Battery results of this ROM will be reported after 2 to 3 days of uses via community post. So in my opinion this ROM is still my favorite Android 14 custom ROM for OnePlus Nord 2. You can use this test build till we will get the stable Android 15 update. That's it for today guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content for OnePlus Nord 2. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.